to May Slug Life. I'm May. And oh my gosh, another new product. Holy cow. And it's an accessory this time. So this is my first impression video of the Bobsled XL eyeglass case. I actually almost didn't do this video because I thought it was just another bobsled and they just added a bunch of new colors and I was just about to move on. And the reason why I was like, holy cow, they really made that expensive. So I don't know why they made that so much more expensive than the regular one because $32 for a bobsled I thought was nuts. So I actually double checked to see if it was the vegan leather and it wasn't. And that was when I saw it said XL. So they've made a larger eyeglass case, which by the way is perfect because we do all have, you know, those giant chunky uh, sunglasses um, or some of us like to carry two. You've got like, you know, you got your readers and you got your sunglasses. So you can actually have both of the glasses in the same one. So let's just see what this looks like. I mean, so far it looks like a bobsled. Doesn't look any different, but it does have a different quilting. So it's got the Max uh, Basket Weave quilting, which already I love. I actually think it looks really I like it better. I personally like it better than the other basket weave print, a uh, quilt rather. I think this is much more elegant and I think it's a little less dated, if that makes any sense. It will, I think it will last the test of time a little better. And I think it also highlights the colors and eventually the prints as well a little bit better. Because when you have a lot of really busy quilting, it takes away from the beauty of the print. So I'm actually happy about that. And also that lug logo really stands out now because on a nice smooth surface, it doesn't sort of get, it doesn't have to compete with the shine of all the fabric that's sort of, you know, quilted around it. So um, already I'm looking at the colors and I'm already excited. Uh, so $32 Canadian, $28 this weekend just for, or today, I guess, uh, just cause it's the introductory price. Uh, I think it's a bit high, but it's not insane. I would like to know how much bigger it is compared to the other one. Um, I guess I'll have to go back and look at that later, but um, I think it's a good thing to have a large eyeglass case because it's easy to find small ones even in the stores, but to get a big one, it's practically impossible. So uh, I'm really glad that Lug has actually addressed this problem because some of us do have these really big um, sort of, yeah, like bulky, thick framed uh, sunglasses. So this will accommodate that really, really well. Okay. Right off, I am loving that green. That looks like Kelly Green. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, it's so cute. Tell me how cute that would be at like Christmas time. Just saying. Love, love, love. That's gonna be a beautiful color for the spring. Um, oh, okay, so we'll just keep looking. Let's just look at the, let's just look at it all. So there's a little mini carabiner, which is amazing. Um, it's that nylon still. Oh, it's so cute. And it's quilted in the back, which is nice. I know that I think the bobsled did the same thing, but not all of Love Lug's things are quilted on both sides. But I guess it's just, just this is just one. It's a taco. I think I've said this before. I think this thing looks like a taco. So it's just <laughs> it wraps around. So that makes sense. Uh, and the inside looks pretty much the same. It's not divided. I think it would have been nice if they put a little divider in there. So if you happen to have two pairs of glasses, you could put a little divider in there so you can put one on one side and one on the other without them banging into each other or scratching each other. Um, I would have liked that feature so that I could keep like my readers separate from my sunglasses or whatever. Um, I actually wear eyeglasses, so I would have loved to be able to carry my spare glasses and my sunglasses in the same case. So that's just me. Um, and I, so, so, so having a dividing wall would have been nice. Um... I'm not getting a scale on this one. I'm not really sure how much bigger this is to the other ones. I kind of wish they would do that. I wish that, that when they introduce like an XL or a different size, they would show you the two side by side in the photos online. I kind of feel like, like that would be a, a nice feature. Okay, so that is the Kelly Green. The rainbow, yes, the rainbow stitch looks really good there. That is cool. I like it. I like that. And you know what? I like that so far it looks like the, the stitching is not random. So if you look at the way the stitching on both of them are, there's the, so you'll see the wide swatch, like one, the one big shape is right there. So it really centers that logo really well. So it's not just wherever the stitching happens, wherever the quilting happens to be. They purposely stitched in a certain way so that it always sits in the exact same place on every single case, which is perfect. So it never, so it means that you're never going to have bad stitching placement, if that makes any sense. Um, okay. I see the Buffalo check. Oh, it's actually pretty cute. It's actually really cute in the Buffalo check red small. I don't think I'll get it because it doesn't match any of the stuff I have, but it is cute. I do quite like it. Um, okay. Heather gray. 
that's actually really nice. Very, 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 very neutral. Um, actually, wait. Let's see what the interiors. I keep forgetting these things have interiors. It's not much of an interior, but just enough of one. Right there, peeking through, you can see. Um, and then the this one has... Yep, the little clover. Heather Gray, I'm assuming, is the black stripe. Yep. <gasps> Maple's cream. Oh, my God. Love, love, love this print. I must have this one. <laughs> I will definitely be trying to get this one. And that's also got that little clover on the inside. Ooh, metallic silver. Oh, my God, that looks so good. That looks so good, a metallic silver. <gasps> and it's got the little sketch pink floral, which I love. Um, I might get this one just because I actually love it's, it's it'll be like a nice way to try out the metallic fabric and see how it wears and tears but if it doesn't look great after a while it's just an accessory you carry on the inside it's not like a nice big bag that you paid like $150 for so I might try this print in this little guy yeah I think I might get a metallic taco I like it okay I'm gonna probably try to get that one as well um and you know what I might get the Kelly Green I have I don't think I have anything in Kelly Green. I wasn't ever thinking I would, but I'm really liking that. That Kelly Green is really speaking to me. I think it's the shape. I think it's the the freshness and the brightness of it. I quite like it. Uh, metallic black is very cute. It definitely is. It's it 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 looks like it's a little mini winter coat for your glasses. That's all I'm saying. A little mini puffy coat for your glasses. <laughs> but I do like it. And I'm assuming the inside is the fern. Yep. Okay. And oh, paws black. Okay, we haven't seen this. Uh, this is the first time I have seen this print. I think it came out on a, was it a dolly or something? I can't remember exactly what it was. It was one of those like little accessories they came out with in the summer, only on Lug Live, and I never got to see it. To me, it looked like like navy when I was seeing it on Lug Live in the like just when I was quickly watching the shows. But I actually think that's kind of cute, as opposed to the to the navy. I think I like the navy better because I like blue. But I like it. It's kind of good to see that one. And what's the interior? I'm assuming it's the same as the blue. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, the navy, I mean. Okay. And then, ooh, you know what? That's actually fun. The whimsy black is actually fun. That looks like, um, you know what that feels like? It feels like um, Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why. It reminds me of like, you know, Alice walking through the little field of, of flowers. I don't know why. Actually, I like this print. I think I like busy prints on small items like this. So I think that's why I'm liking it in this particular bobsled taco. So yeah, I actually quite like it. And there's that, the multi-stripe, the love multi-stripe there. Um, oh, and the boho, that's cute. Yep. So I'm, this is not my favorite, but I can, I know people love it. And I, I can totally, I totally understand why people like it. Uh, oh, oh, that looks really nice. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, you know what? That's really sweet, too. Although I still kind of want to... Oh, yeah, it's got that dragonfly. I forgot. Um, I still don't know what color this color is. So I think I'm not getting it until I really know what color that is. Because I don't know what color... Like, I don't want this to not match any of the red bags I have. Because then it's just like one more red thing that clashes with everything else. So I've kind of... I'm a little on the fence with this with, 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 with this print but I really like it. So if it comes down in price a lot more, I might get it. Um, okay, that's fun. Good neutral. Excellent neutral. Good gift for guys. Actually, yeah, I think the metallic would be okay because you really can't see that, that ferny thing too well. Um, that is definitely a good guy print. That is a great guy print. And then, oh, no! Sorry, I just saw the thing next to it, the tartan plaid. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna lose it. All right, um, <laughs> sorry. This is Snowflake Navy. Love the exterior. I don't know why the interior is so bloody boring. Uh, it's such a fun, bright holiday snow snowman, and then they put something boring on the inside. Uh, okay, now, I, I am a, a plaid freak, as it turns out. I didn't know I was until I noticed that everything that was plaid, I kind of go a little bat crap over. So, okay, you ready? I have seen one picture someone posted on Facebook and I almost lost it. Here we go, tartan plaid. Oh my God, it's so great. Okay, I, I think plaid's not, a, not for everyone. It's I think it's like camo. <laughs> 
I think there are people who love the camo and there are people who just love their tartans and love their plaids. I'm a plaid freak. Um, I feel like I should have been born Scottish because then I would have a tartan and I would always wear it and I absolutely love, love plaid. Um, I love it. And I also love that it's kind of got that diagonal thing. So it goes with the line of this of the quilt. So the way they've arranged the, the fabric so that the lines are going in the same direction as the quilt is perfect. So it's like the, 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 the print isn't going up and down, like isn't, it isn't going north, south, east, west. It's going on a diagonal. So it really matches a line and I love it. Okay, I am so curious to find out what the interior is. Oh, it's so boring. Oh no, why do they make it so boring? Uh, why do they do that? Why do they have such cool prints on the outside and then do something lame like that on the inside? Um, I think it's just a matter of like, it, they, don't, they don't want to design something new, I guess. But they did that for the, like the snowman, like for the, what is it, snowman trees. They actually came up with a nice festive matching or coordinating interior print. They didn't do that for this. And I'm so sad because look at how fun that is. Like that exterior is, uh oh, is a complete hoot. Look at that. Oh my God, that's going to be so cute at Christmas. Or if you're going to Scotland or if you're a McDonald. I think that looks like a McDonald print. Um, or quilt, uh, sorry, tartan. Um, if anybody knows what tartan this is, I would like to know. Put that in the comments below if you happen. If there's anybody, I forget what it's called if you're someone who really knows tartans. Uh, but if you happen to know whose tartan this is, put it below. Or is it like a, just a made up tartan? Like is this just Lug's creation? I'm, I'm curious as well. So, um, I love it. I will, I, I definitely want it. <laughs> I don't know what it would go with, but I'm not sure if I care. I think I just love it. So I might be getting this one too. Oh my God. It's so cute. Yeah. I'm going to want that. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a video? No video. Okay. So let's just uh, read what it says. So this is bobsled, but bigger. For standard glasses, reading glasses, and sunglasses, bobsled XL has one zipper, a keychain, removable soft line interior, and if you find another use for this uh, perfectly portable case besides glasses, go for it. <laughs> okay, that's fun. And then measurements. Okay, I actually don't... I, sh I should just get these things and have them sitting next to me when I do these videos. Okay, it's seven inches wide. That thing is massive. That is definitely a lot wider. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. You don't even have to use it just for eyeglasses. It's big enough you can put a lot of other stuff in there. Uh, seven inches wide. That's definitely a much wider case. Uh, I believe if I'm just like eyeballing, I feel like maybe the regular one is maybe about five inches. Um, but the, this one, seven inches, that's very, very wide. So if you happen to have like a big head... <laughs> And you have big glasses. That's great. Um, okay. And then three and a half inch, sorry, three and a quarter inches high. So, yep, yeah, that's definitely a lot taller. Well, not a lot taller, but definitely taller. And then one and a quarter inches deep. And that probably is about the same. But definitely you can quote, you can put a whole lot bigger glasses in there, which is amazing. Um, or whatever you want, right? Um, okay, wide opening zipper compartment, one keychain, and a soft line interior to protect your glasses from scratch. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. There's really not much, not much, not much more to say about it, except those are some fun, fun colors. And I'm so looking forward to when these go on sale and then getting a whole bunch. Because I like getting small little items because then it allows me to be able to have to experience rather the the new colors and some of the colors that maybe I kind of would like to try on a bigger bag but I'm a little bit nervous about because I can't see the colors yet so it's kind of like when I used to I, I used to look at the metros uh because they were really small they were relatively inexpensive and it kind of allowed me to sample the colors and the and the shading and all that and, and the prints so I could kind of go do I like this or I not like it but if I don't like it it was like a $15 item and it's tiny and I can use it for anything it just goes inside a bag and it doesn't matter but maybe like I might look at this and go you know what this would make a really really good bigger bag because I love the colors much more than I thought I would um so to me this is one of those ones where if you're like sort of on the fence about a print but you kind of want to have some fun get it in something small like this because if you don't love it it just goes inside your bag you don't care uh, and it also didn't cost you an arm and a leg to get it. Uh, and you don't feel bad about it. It's also something you can easily just sort of give to someone. Like if you're like, eh, I don't love this color so much anymore. Here you go, neighbor. Here you go, daughter. Here you go, friend. Um, and you don't feel like you're like, you know, giving them away like, you know, half your life savings. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, I'm definitely going to be getting one of these at least. I don't know which one will be my first one. I kind of like so many of them. Um, the tartan is definitely a fun one because I just love that kind of thing. Uh, the maple's cream is fun. I haven't had anything in maple's cream yet. Uh, at least not as an exterior print. And then that silver, that metallic silver is kind of calling out to me a little bit just because I still don't know what that looks like and I don't know what that feels like and I feel like I do want to try out the metallics uh, and, and see how they wear and tear. And it will, again, it would be a, a better way to try it on this than it would be on a nice big bag. So, okay, that's it. That is my first impression video of the Bobsled XL eyeglasses case. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me which colors you're getting, if you're getting any, um, and how many you're getting. And what else would you use this for? Like, is there anything else that you would use these for uh, besides glasses? Uh, I'm curious. And, and if you are getting them, is this going to replace the small one that you have or is this going to be in like, you know, an extra thing that you also have in your bag for something, you know, like, like I said, for your larger glasses, for example, uh, I am curious. So let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.